Hello, me handsomes. So, we're going to do another What More Can I Do episode. We've got our chicken. We're going to do as we normally do, pop it in the oven. This time, however, we're going to pop a bit of paprika on it today because we are going to be making a creamy pasta dish with the chicken. This is one of my favourites. It's so nice, so good to do for any time of the year, really. You can have it in the summer and it's nice, it's light. You can have it in the winter, it's just perfect for any time of the year I tend to find but we're going to put a bit of paprika on there not a lot as you'll see we don't want a huge amount of paprika on it we've also got broccoli really high in iron good for you brings a beautiful color to the dish so we've got our onions and our garlic in there don't worry about the sizes because it is going to get blitzed up and we've got some thyme we're just going to chuck that in there with it we're not going to blitz that one up though so be careful to take that one out once you have sauteed it all down We're going to have something that looks like this. So as you can see, the onions have started to cook down a bit. They're getting a bit soft. Still need a little bit more time. No pun intended. But this is a fantastic part to season all of it as well. But like I said, really easy dish this one. Pasta, family favourite. One of the world's favourites. Really good. But, hey, at this point, we've gone in with our tomatoes. Just tin everyday chopped tomatoes. You can use fresh if you want. I didn't have any at the time, so we just used tin because we're saving the budget. Don't forget, if you are using tin, just to give that little swirl out with water in the tin, get that flavour out. So, that's our pan there. We've taken everything out. We've blitzed it. And this is our sauce here. Lovely, smooth passata. Really oniony. The way I love my passatas with lots of onion into it. I'm just going to let that cook out for a little bit as well. But before we do that, remember salt, pepper, taste, season, taste, season. So plenty of salt, plenty of pepper. And getting back on the ob. Of course, no dish, no pasta dish without pasta. So get that on the go. There's our sauce. Already thickened up nicely. Now we're going to make it a little bit more creamier. We're just going to add some cream to it. Double cream I've used here. Not loads. You don't need loads for this. But it does bring a lightness to the dish. It adds to that depth of flavour. It makes the colour beautiful I find. And there, we've got our cooked pasta all in. Give that a good mix in the sauce. Get it really coated. The proper Italian way. Get it all coated in the sauce. And now we're going to go in with our broccoli and our chicken, which we've just cooked off. And suddenly you've added a depth of colour, a depth of flavour. Really nice, really easy dish to do. This took me all of uh, 25 minutes and majority of that was the cooking of the chicken. And, uh, just let that soak up all that flavour from the sauce. Really easy. You can go in with more herbs at this point. And you can even whack more bits and bobs in there if you wanted to. You know, you could put mushrooms into it. You can add more spices to it a bit earlier on. You can do whatever you want. doesn't have to be spaghetti either. It can be any type of pasta. Penne pasta is a pretty classic one to go with this. But I find it really delicious, really easy, very cheap to make as well, which is important at the moment. But, time for watching, guys. Take care.